What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the one and only, the only one, DG the Chef. And today, we got another Call of Duty video. No, we're not doing Call of Duty today because clearly you guys aren't ready for the transition. You've been, you've been pretty spoiled. We're going to do other games on this channel, just maybe not right now. Um, but before we get into the video on what we're doing today, I just want to say thank you all. Last month, we grew by, let's check here, 500 and five subs last month alone in the month of October. That's literally the most that we've got so far on the little three month journey that we've been on. So I just wanna say thank you guys for supporting my No Money Spent Madden Ultimate Team channel. And these aren't my Madden channel in general. Thank you, that's dope. So right now our goal is to hit a thousand subs. Uh, hopefully we can do it by the end of the year. I'm really, really hopeful that we'll be able to hit that mark. So continue to hit that sub button, continue to support the channel, and we'll continue to give you the content that you all love. And today, no, we're not doing Call of Duty. We will be doing some Madden Ultimate Team. So basically today what we're talking about is Pat Tillman again, because people are still grinding out their Pat Tillman cards. And as long as you guys need Pat Tillman, I'll give you Pat Tillman. Today we're gonna talk about how to get tackles for loss for your Pat Tillman card. Now sacks, as you guys have found out, don't count as tackles for loss. So a lot of you guys have been struggling trying to figure out how to ensure that you'll get tackles for loss for your Pat Tillman card. So as always, unlike any other channel out here on YouTube, you come to the right spot because we're gonna give you the tips that you need to get those 100 tackles for loss. Let's get into this video. Okay, so just like everything else, there's a few things you have to keep in mind in order to do these challenges, right? The computer has been programmed to work a certain way. And in order to figure out how that computer works or how the computer thinks, you have to put yourself into different scenarios, different situations to see how the computer responds. So when you guys ask me how to do your tackles for loss, which I've been getting a lot of questions on, I had to figure out how can I force the computer to run? Because if sacks don't really count, then the only way to get tackles for loss are either on screen plays or on run plays. Now it's too hard to force the computer to do screens, so I figured out the best way to force the computer to run. Now, there are a few ways to force the computer to run. Um, the best way to do it is to be in a game time situation in which the computer is up and what they're trying to do is run out the clock because they're gonna run as many times they have to and then just punt the ball back. The computer always plays it safe. So instead of actually trying to get the computer in that situation, I think it's best just to start in that particular situation. So this tip is going to work in any situation where the computer is up and they're trying to run out the clock. Now I'm gonna show you the ones that I picked but if you find another one, maybe in Legends, which really wouldn't work because it's a full game, but any other situation, this will work. So the goal is to get the computer in a situation in which they're up either by half or they're up by in the game. They just want to run the clock out. The one that I actually pick is in the Heroes Challenge. So let's go ahead and go over there. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into No Respect from the Goons and you're going to pick the No... Okay guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your Mutt Hero challenges, right? And you're actually going to look for the fearsome forecast and the challenge that you want is called Cold Snap. Now the reason why we're picking this challenge is because it's fourth quarter with two minutes left and you're down by seven. So the computer is gonna do what it can to make sure it can run the clock out. Now you'll see that the requirements are allow 15 or fewer rushing yards this drive, which means that the computer is gonna try to run. Now the second thing that's gonna do is it's gonna try to pick up the first because that also gets rid of one of your bonuses. So this almost guarantees you that the computer is gonna run as much as possible when it's obvious that they can run. Now you can do two things here. You can either get the game over with and retry, or you can take the whole two minutes and try to get as many tackles for loss as you can by allowing them to get the first. But as long as you don't allow them more than 15 rushing yards, you'll be, you'll be good to go. You're gonna come in here on Cold Snap and you're gonna select one star. Then you're gonna play your solo. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're going to put Pat Tillman as our strong safety or our safety in general. Now, I didn't tell you this before, but you're gonna wanna find a playbook that has the 4-4 defense in it. Now, the 4-4 defense is what I use. I highly suggest that you use it as well because it's really easy. And this is gonna kinda require you to have some stick skills. You're gonna need stick skills because you're gonna have to use her Pat Tillman, but at this point in the game, you're on rookie. It, you should have the ability to do that. If you don't, I mean, whatever, figure it out, blitz them, do what you gotta do to get your tackles for loss. Now, 
We're going to put Pat Tillman at free and we're going to spread out the line and spread out the defense. We should be able to shoot through the A gap every time the offense tries to run and we should be guaranteed pretty much a tackle for loss. So let's go ahead and set that up. Now, mind you guys, this isn't going to work every time. Tackles for loss is very tough. This doesn't work every time, but this is for me has been the best way to do it is because I know the computer is going to run and I know this formation almost guarantees me a gap. As you'll see here, Pat Timmy comes down, but I just missed the tackle, but I still get the tackle for loss. Now, let me walk you guys through what I'm doing, okay? I'm going to run engage eight. I'm going to spread out my offensive line and my linebackers, which is pretty much giving me a go inside of a gap because everything else should be picked up. And then all you have to do at that point is just take your Pat Tillman card, get through that a gap and get that tackle. Why would the computer take a flag? The computer be blocking, bro. Computer be blocking, man. Now the thing about this, let's say you didn't get what you needed. Okay, cool. If you restart, you'll still get to keep your stats. So the one tackle for loss I got for this particular game, I, I, I keep it. Uh, I don't have to remake my substitutions. It just works again. And you can just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Now, even if you have to run this 50 times, 100 times, the games are short, so you should be good to go. Oh, they passed. What the hell? I'll run engage eight. Spread out those backers. That Timmy comes down, we get that tackle for loss. They better not have gave my tackle lost somebody else. Let me check. Oh, wrong thing. All right, let me see who got that tackle for loss because I'm going to be pissed if they gave it to the computer defense. Um, tackle for loss. Okay. Boom, Pat Tillman got it. Bam, good to go. All right, we're going to do the same thing. And you can actually run this with cover three as well. Cover three works the same thing. If you spread out that offensive line and then spread out those linebackers, you should get that A gap right there. We get it again. We just didn't make the block. Missed. Like I said, guys, it isn't guaranteed. It's not, it's not a guaranteed every time. But you'll see, I'll just come in here. I'll just restart. All right, again, so we're going to put Pat Tillman at our free safety here. Replace Earl Thomas. We'll put that Tillman in. We'll go 4 4. We'll go. I'm going to go cover three this time. And I'm actually going to try to blitz one of my outside backers just to see if that helps out a little bit more. We'll come down. Pat comes down. Boom. Good to go. We get another tackle for loss. That's one. Time. It's not, a guarantee. it's not guaranteed every time. There we go, we got another one. Yep, we got another one, so that's two tackle for loss. We'll go ahead and call this timeout. And then what I'm gonna do is, since I think they're gonna punt it and there's no need for me to sit here and do this again, I'm just gonna restart the game. And now I should have two tackles for loss for this particular one. All right, guys, so that's how I've really been grinding out my Pat Tillman tackles for loss. It is not guaranteed. It's one of the hardest things to actually grind because when you have to find a place where the computer is going to run and then you can't pretty much dictate or guarantee the computer is going to run in such a way that you won't get blocked. But to get two or three tackles for loss in two minutes or three minutes, I think that's a really good ratio. So if you're really trying to grind out and this is your last challenge and you don't want to do it naturally, I think this may be the best way to do it. It's short, it's fast, and you know the computer is going to run. If you have any better ways to do this, leave it in my comments. Help somebody else out in the community. We're always about sharing. This may not be the most effective method. Maybe you have a better method. Let us know in the comment section. Hopefully this has been helpful to you all. And as always, hit that sub button. It's been your boy, DJ the Chef. It's been love. It's always love. <laughs>